Sea Dragons, first one. Okay, so on your page 13, you can read. Uh, sea Dragons or Sea Monkeys are a novelty aquarium pet. It is a type of brain shrimp that undergoes cypro, no, wait, cytobiosis, hibernation, until their living conditions improve. So you can actually keep it for a long, long time. Cryptobiosis. Cryptobiosis. And you can also see that you know, if you open the pack later on, you will see that the, the whole pack look like just dust, but they are actually eggs. So be mindful, don't let it fly everywhere. They are born with one eye. And then later on, when it reach maturity, there are two more eyes. They are translucent and brief. So they have yeah. three eyes? Yeah, that's right. A very small one and two bigger ones. Oh, like a beast. <laughs> that's why they are like monsters and dragons, right? They are translucent and through their feathery teeth. It's, it's, it's like sea so, so, monkeys. Sea dragons. dragons. They are like, like some... And you can also see that for them, they can be produced sexually normally or they can actually just have babies without having sex having a, another another stream a male stream or female stream to get it to be with them and then they they like chasing flesh like beans so you can play with it when it's gone and then they are named sea monkeys or dragons due to their long long tails you can see over there the tail is really long so we have our box here. I hope you have the water ready as well. They need distilled water or purified water because they cannot live with chlorine that is in our tap water. Or they cannot live with minerals as well because the minerals might not be good for their body. Yep. Okay, if I have water that comes out of a water filter, you know, like alkaline water, will that work? And does your does your machine uh, clear away uh, minerals and as well as chlorine? I have no idea. I think your mom. No, it uh, won't, it won't it, according to answer frame, it won't work. Because to be to make the water yeah. clear, alkaline, you have to add minerals in it. Ah, so, I see. Okay, then. Um, what are you, you gonna like buy a water bottle? Oh, you can just get it. You from gotta me. buy distilled water. You gotta make sure it's distilled water. Live distilled water. Or you you collect rainwater directly from the sky. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you can just get it from the mall later on or something. I'm just going to spotlight this one. Okay. Okay. So. Make sure the container is clean, right? And then you just need to add three quarter full of water. Fill it full. Three quarter full. How much? Again. Okay. So in a box like this, half is here, mm -hmm. and then you divide in half again. So it's about here. Three quarter. Okay, here's a little bit dirty. Can we can we rinse it first? Yeah, the rinse it with your with your clean water with the purified water or distilled water. Will regular water coming from the tap work? Uh, no, because of chlorine. Ah, I see. Yeah. Then your pack over here has a one, two, and three. Three is the food. So you don't need it right now. You only need it when it's born. So you only need one and two. One and two has the eggs and plus the uh, purif uh, purifying agent in there to make it even cleaner. So you just have to open it up and pour them in. You can pour some, you can pour all, it's up to you because you can keep this one. I'm going to pour all. When you pour it in the water, you can see there are some little things that floats on top, blackish color. That's actually those, those are eggs. 
the crystals are for purifying the water further. And from there, you just take the stir and stir well. Dissolving the crystals in there. Probably about like this. Yep, that would do. Uh, now what do we do next? Then you pour the packet number one and two. Which one's packet number one and two? Is it this blue one? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Number one and number two on top of it. So you pour it in and stir it until the crystal dissolves. And you'll see all the little black parts floating all around. Those are eggs. So don't clean it away, okay? If not, you'll clean away all the eggs. Uh, how do we open it? Take a scissors. So number three, you can see underneath here, it writes here, grow food. So it's for their food later on. They will actually start popping out the baby between about three or four days onwards to the eighth day. So yours might come out earlier or later. It depends on your pet over there. So once you see little, little streams, baby streams swimming around, you will take, you see this here? You take the stick and then just put, just touch a little bit of the food and then stir it into the water. Okay? I will update you all again, of course, in a few days when somebody starts going out. And do we pour, do we pour all of them? Yes, uh, the, the one and two pack is everything. You can pour everything in. Okay, then mix it with this popsicle stick. And then you will make sure the crystals that actually sink to the bottom are actually well mixed. You dissolve them all and then keep the food properly. If not, they will starve. The, the pack of How many days to let the, the creatures grow, Auntie John? Sorry, again, can you repeat that? How many days to grow uh, the it between two to eight. It Between two to eight days, mm -hmm. normal timing is about five, four to five days. Four to five days? Yeah, four to five days. If it doesn't grow, you, it take over eight days. It should start growing already. Okay. Yon, Auntie yes. Yon. Yes. How big the, will the, the sea dragon grow? It will grow up to about, it can grow up to, if I'm not wrong, it's about, about 3 cm. But you must make sure that when you keep it, you keep it at a, a corner and then don't keep on disturbing it, yeah? Until it's, uh, it starts growing. Because, because Auntie John, I yeah? have a piano class mm -hmm. uh, and maybe mm -hmm. my, my friends will shake this bottle. And you put it into a side in a place that it doesn't shake as much. Okay, thank you, Auntie John. You're welcome. And then you can put it aside. So we go in and then just go to what? Create circuit, is that what you said? Yeah, uh, go to circuits and then create new circuits. Okay. What create? Oh, go to circuits. Yeah, and then create new circuits. Oh, we can even create new circuits now. Yes. Then click create new circuit. That's right. And get this up. Maybe easier. So you've got a new circuit already. You've got a new page for that. Yes. Okay, so over here you can see okay. Muff, mighty fluff on the right side here. On the right side here, right? Can you all pick up batteries? What? Battery. That's T. You just you just do type batteries. What is that batteries? Batteries. B E T T R Y. Batteries. 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 Yes. Do you manage to find that? I'll try to find it. It's on the right side here. Wait, where do we go to to find it? We we click where it says components 
Um, on the right side here, under components basic here, uh -huh. um, you'll find batteries. You'll see this battery here. Which holds battery? I'm going to pick up this two. The nine volt battery? 1.5 volt. Okay, you have two on your two of them. And then you go there and you cross switches. Then what do you do? Look for switches. There's a slight switch. Bring it out. Okay, but could you please go slower? Yeah, you ask you ask me, right? So I can. next I'll John, go. when we see the batteries, do we just tap on the batteries? Because mine just don't tap and drag what them. light switch. Sorry. Sorry. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. What, okay, I'm sorry, John. There's a lot of uh, interruption. Is it a slide switch? Yes, light switch. Okay. Pull it Where out. Where do I put it? Just at the side. Of the battery? Just pull it out first. Just pull it out first. You can rearrange later. And then you look for gears. There's a hobby motor gear. You can bring it out. And if you switch the components to all, you'll be able to find one more gear. Wait, what is that yellow stuff you have? That's a hob hobby motor gear. A hobby motor gear. Could you wait? Okay. Hobby gear motor. Yes. Hobby. Found it? Not yet. Oh, is okay. it hobby gear motor, this yeah. one? That's right. And then the not, please wait because you're in the first thing. The book is the different. Excuse me, John. Yes. Look a little bit. Could you please type out the list of things we need to pull out? Uh, maybe send it through the WhatsApp so we could do it. Okay. Accordingly. Okay. Thank you. 1.5 volts. Okay, hobby gear motor. Times two. Light switch. Minus one. Hobby motor here. Minus one. DC motor. Minus one. Okay, got it. You can actually make links. Uh, John, is that a DC motor? Yeah, the last one is a DC motor. Okay. You can actually link them together. Just yes, that's right. That's what we're trying to do. Battery. Link, positive, negative. Uh, John, uh, John. Yes. Sorry, so it's ba two batteries. One hobby, what is it again? Um, it's in the WhatsApp group. Oh, okay, sorry, cannot see. Too many. So they should really see all this, this for. Okay, I'm going to open up the vacuum cleaner we're going to make later. So you can see from here, we have the batteries here. We need two batteries. That's the reason why we have two AA 1.5 volt batteries in the picture. And then we're going to have a fan here. And this one, we are going to use the last one, which is a DC motor. And then we have another, actually, I'm going to replace this one. This one, we will pretend that it is the uh, hobby motor, hobby gear motor, yeah? And then this one will be the DC uh, motor. And then there's a switch on top here as well. Okay, now your job is to figure out, can you make, first, first one is, can you make the motor move? Connect the batteries. So we're gonna just connect these two together, positive to negative. Got it? 
and let's click on it. It connected. Now we are going to, now, do you know this negative? Where should it go to? Should I connect to negative or positive? John, how do you connect? Sorry. What you just, you... you just click on it and then it will, it will happen. Okay. You click on the joint here and you pull it out. Click again, you can make a turn. Then click again, you can make another turn until you reach the end. Yep. So you can de decide you want to go to the positive or negative over here. I'm going to go negative. And then I'm going to use this. Go on the other round, the other way around. Then connect to for those who are quicker and you can you think that it's ready, you press up here on the right hand corner. Positive and negative I connect. They are called start simulation. If you press it on, it will tell you whether it's working or not. Like for mine, it's spinning at 97 RPM. Between the batteries here is positive and negative in the middle. But what about the positive the, the batteries to the motor? But the motor is negative side. Now you, when you connect these two together, there's a negative and positive, right? Correct. Then you take the negative, connect to the negative, the positive end to the positive end. Let me try. Yeah. And for the rest, once you make it work, I want you to switch the wire from positive and negative for the motor. So for the rest, if you switch the wires here and you start the simulation, you will realize that it runs. I start the simulation. There's a button on the right top corner, a play button. And play do button. Where the is play it? Button on the top right corner. Oh, start simulation. Yes. And if you switch yes. the wires, Nine, the corner, minus ninety-seven RPM. It's spinning. That's right. It's correct. That means it's working. What do I do with the DC motor? Not yet. What we're going to do is we're going to add a switch to it right now. So can you make a guess how you're going to do that? We will have to break this wire up. And now it, you connect the same way, but this time we connect to the switch first. To the middle. Huh? What do you mean? Okay. See this wire here? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, see this part? So I removed the wire here just now, correct? I removed the whole wire just now. And then now I connect that first part to the And then I connect from the second terminal here to the motor. So if I start simulation right now, it should it should should not work at all. Even if I started it, it but worked. If, then you press a switch. Like if it's I still it. working. Perhaps I uh, connected it a little bit wrong. Me, oh yes. Okay, you want to take a you want to take a look? Did you connect it like this? Not really. Okay. So. It does not no. work. Okay, from it works. Yeah, from a positive. You can use the switch to go slide up and down. Yes, you need a slight left switch. And right. Sli slide the switch to turn on or off. Got it now? Okay. And once you are ready now, we are gonna connect the wires from the negative part of the hobby uh, gear motor to the DC here. I'm going to turn this by flipping sideways. How do you do that? On the top right corner? Yes. Okay, over here. Okay, over here. Yeah. That's oh, a flip button. Yeah, that's a flipping button. Oh, you can just click it multiple times. Yes, correct. So if you do that, you can actually do the same thing. And this time you connect it to the. Oh, could you wait? 
Oh, yeah. If you are you are you are lazy, you can just connect straight across. <laughs> but I just had to make it neater for you to see it. Okay then. And just extend it connection over. Negative to positive. Negative and negative, positive and positive. Okay, negative to negative. Yeah. Positive to positive. Yeah, because if you do positive and negative, then you'll fight each other. It's like I want to go this way. No, I want to go the other way. Hey, look, both of them are turning. Yes, if you start simulation yeah. and you turn it on. It, it doesn't say in the mind. Both Let's of them see. are working. So this is going to be what happened to our vacuum cleaner in a while. We are going to connect them to a switch, to the motor, the fan motor, and then to the wheels in the front. It, it, before I connected it to the DC motor, it said ni minus 97, but when I connected it to the DC motor, uh, uh -huh. Um, it changed to minus 96. Yeah, uh, you are still on negative, which means that you've connected on the reverse direction. What do you mean reverse direction? That means the, from the post, from here, negative must go to a negative. If you go negative to a positive over there, it will switch direction. Wait, how come I cannot drag it oh, Yeah, the simulation? simulation. Yes. Okay. Now then, I'm, oh, so. on, I'm not done. Okay. So if you look at your page 14, yeah. If you look at your page 14, do you think that this circuit you have, you've just done is a series or parallel um, circuit? Series? On your page 14 of your book, you can take a look. What do you mean? On page 14 of your booklet. Yes. Over here, right? Do you think it's the first one, the series, or the second one that is actually actually a parallel circuit? Hmm. The one series? It's like this. So the battery goes to one of the motor and then straight to the other motor and come back to the end. Yeah. Or is it a motor to the more, uh, a battery to the motor on both sides and then connect to the another motor again. Probably parallel or series. I think it's parallel circuit. Yeah, yeah. Parallel. Right. You are right because look, our motor is here. We actually connect it down this way. And then from here, we extend another connection to here. So it's the same as the picture you have the parallels, except they're using a uh, light. Yeah, and we turn to 15, page 15, you can see as well the picture. They're showing you how it's being done as well. So on 15, can you figure out which one is series and which is parallel? You can circle it. Okay. So first one. The first one is series. Correct, that's right. The second one is parallel, the third one is parallel, the, the fourth one, the one with four light bulbs is series. Okay, very good. So you got a rough idea of how it works already, right? So now we're going to make the machine. Okay? Oh. I just finished doing one so I can show the inside. But we're going to start from the beginning. Can you build another one? Uh, I am going to build another one. There you go. But could you wait for me to open it? Okay, I'm also opening it. The, the two bags are taped together. That's right, you just use the scissors. And I accidentally cut the bag a little bit. It's okay, as long as you leave the rest alone, it'll be fine. 
And I accidentally ripped the booklet because of that super sticky tape. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna remove all this down the, the container can to use. I can put all my in there. Will you wait a little bit? I'm not even I'm not even done with opening the first bag. It's okay. Slowly. We are working on it. I need everything here. There. You can hold this one. Mommy, give me two items. Okay. Okay. I know where this is at that stove. Yes, Colin. There. Look. Wait, what is this for? Which one? What is this, oh, you, uh, what is this for? for? You need a screwdriver from there. And then what is this a white bottle? That's a glue. That's for you to glue your picture. What about that pink thing? thing? That, that, blue is, thing. Uh, that is for sending the the wood out. It is that's uh, that's little um space. Uh, not space. When you it breaks and then it's sharp, you can actually use that to to send it down. Yes, send it down. Okay. okay, so over here I have all my screws. Do you wait? Oh, it's just nice. I gotta find the place for the screws. I take yeah, you remember the cover from the from the tank just now? That will work. I'm removing all my stuff bit by bit so I can. Okay. Could you wait? All these. Yeah, I'm, I'm not putting them in. Okay, the first one you Could actually you wait. Good. Yeah, don't worry, you keep going and then later on we can revise on that. We need this first piece here, over here, and then we need this okay. piece down here. So we need the first piece here and the third piece over there. Huh? What do you mean? Before you ask, you have to see first. Your eyes are not watching here and you just keep saying, what do you mean? So you have to look first. Okay, so we're going to take out these two pieces. And then from there, I'm going to make it face each other this way. Okay. So you see the little hole on top here? Ooh. I'm going to put it down this way. So if the one in the circle is facing downwards down this way, the little hole is on the left hand side facing you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Got it? Got it? And then you see this model here? Okay, I want you to put in the wheels over here. You, you see these wheels here? If you slot it inside there and make it roll. Where do you slot it in? You see this wheel here, the small one with a gear? If you put it in the middle of this and you rotate the Does wheel, you put orientation to put it in? Does it matter which orientation you put it on? No, it doesn't matter. You put it in and you try to rotate the wheel, so you realize it's spinning it around. Yeah. Yeah. Can you try? It's impossible not to spin. Correct. Cool. You will spin it around. But it's not really slotted in. 
um, it is just cover. it's a teeth because you see this piece here. This you black need to piece push here. it in. This is to lock it in. And it matters. This is the lock. Make sure the roundish face is facing up. The long roundish face. Do we lock it in now? Yes, you lock it in. Okay. So now, if you spin wait, it, which orientation wait, wait, do we lock um, it? Wait, which can orientation you do we lock it in? That, um, how to lock it? Yes, okay, let me show you this piece here. Yes, has a hollow side and bottom. The hollow side is the bottom. The one that portraying up is the top. So you put a top and you slide it. You just press it in and let it click in. Got it? You push it in, it Not will lock it. Okay. Okay. Then you have two wires, black and red. I'm using a red wire right now. Before you pull it out, spin it first. So we can make sure that it becomes just one line. So spin it and then pull it out a bit and spin it. Spin the rest out. What so do you mean by it. spin? If you hold the back of it and you hold onto the front of the wires and spin it, it will make it it will make it um less freely. Less freely? Yeah, so it doesn't feel everywhere because they are made out of many, many small wires. Okay, uh, if you look at this piece here. All right, and if the machine, if it's facing myself, I'm sitting on this side, right? So it's facing myself. The one on my right is for my red color wire. So over there, I'm going to spin and lock it together. Huh? What do you mean? I'm going to roll the wire. You see over here? There's a long wire at the side, right? So we're going to roll it around and then bend it in. Roll it around this wire on the on the left side. Yes, uh, it's on it's on my right. If it's facing the red color, is facing me. Okay, it's can you repeat this. that? What you just did with the wires? Wait a minute, how do you do Wait, it? Me, Space is so small. Let me take a picture and send it to the group too. <laughs> I don't really know how to do it. I've just sent a picture. I'm not really sure how to twist it. You can ask mommy for help if you really don't know how to do it. You just need to make sure that they are they are locked together. What I did is on the last one you can see I sent a picture. I roll the wires around before I fold it up. Okay. But could you help me? The thing is, I can't seem to get the wires inserted properly. Look at this. I can't insert the wire inside this metal slot. Yep. Like this. Even this one. No, from, yes, from the back. So, got that part in? Those who are ready, you can just put it in. Put the wheels in. I'm not ready yet. Remove the side piece first, and then we are going to use a screw and screw it in. Inside that very tiny small slot, then twist it around. Okay, those are ready. You can see this piece here. There are three holes here. There are one, two, three over here. And then you can see there are three holes on the machine. One, two, three as well. Okay. These three holes goes together with this three. Okay. 
So you can see the three holes. Uh, that is a three corner. Uh, and what you do is there's screws in there. Look for the longest screw. This is hard. The longest and take out three of them. Would you wait? I cannot slot it in. Okay. John, can you show us how to slot? Again, please, thanks. For which one? After the, the red wire. The wire part is on in the phone in the picture. After that, what do but we do? But it's not so clear. Into the placing, right? Okay. Okay, yes. do you see this part of the way here, right? One leg. Okay, we have one leg, two legs, three legs with three holes, correct? They are one, two, three. They are actually connected to this piece here. You put it in, the three holes should match. Oh, we put the we put the red wire on the wrong side. Can you just put the wrong side? So we have to take it out and then we do it on the other side. Okay. So those are ready. Can you get the longest screws you find in there? Oh, I really cannot do it. With the nut. Mommy, is that to help you? Uh, because if you keep it, it can't really do it. it. And it cuts even more yes, difficult, yeah? So these three are here. You take the longest screw you can find and a nut and you attach them three down. Attach all the three down. Use a screw to screw it down. See, I push the longest screw across here and then I just spin it in. That's a different one. The, the metal wire area. Yes, we can move. We'll probably it together. And then can you see all? Ah, uh, yeah, let's tighten it. Really tight. I magnet to my screwdriver so it can pick up the screws easily. Okay. So the first one. Yeah. Over here. I'll put it like this and then like like this. I don't think you can like you permanently. Do that then. As long as the wire. Like the second one, just look at the second hole. That's okay. Through to the end. And then, same thing. Now we start the black wire in the other hole. And tighten it. So do the same for all the three. Yeah, I'm looking for sure again. Um, I have to see if we inserted it correctly. Seems like we did it. Then we need to insert the other one. And when you are ready, you slot this in. Slot this back in there. No. Uh, John, can you take a photo, please? For which one? For the last <laughs> this whole thing. For this whole thing, just take a photo so that I can see. This thing slots apart quite easily. Oops. No. 
So I got it. We only have two long screws. You have what? Two one? Two long? Only two long screws. I have three. I did do it, yeah, but I'm the one who tied it up. Let it grip this. I can't find a third one, yes? Yeah, can't find a third one. If you can't find a third one, then you screw the two in diagonally. Okay. Now what do we do next after we tied up the wires? And then you screw the machine to the board. Uh, with the longest, the, the longest screw you can find and the nut, you attach them to secure it onto the board. You should be able to see three holes that is going to match nicely. Okay, like this. And then you screw them down. Using the longest screws, right? The longest screw and the nut. Then screw the nut. Wait, is it using three of the longest screws you have in that box? Yes, that's right. Using this screwdriver. So those who are ready for next, you have this piece here, take out the two long pieces and the back piece as well. Just remove all the, all the pieces you have there. Oops. This is very hard to do. It's not easy for this one. No, I'm not even done with screwing one in. Because when you get used to doing this, then you get faster and faster. But if you are new to it, then it will be more difficult to start with. And we slowly grind these holes up. So you realize that those two long pieces are exactly the same. It's symmetrical. So it doesn't matter how you fix it. You just need to fix it in. Except the front part. This, this part in front has a slot, like an L shape here, which is the front. So not so symmetrical. So you slot it in. On both sides. Let me screw this thing in. Can you repeat that? Can well, you repeat here? what you just did? Yeah, you see the board. Oh. There's two of these boards. Um, Oh, just really. Uh, the, the bot should be the one with the L shape here. I'll take I, the other side only have one. It's hard to yeah. see and it's hard to hear you. you can, I can barely it. hear you. Okay, you can see this part of it. These two are the same, but this one has a little slot in the front, L shape. Mm -hmm. yep. So the L shape belongs to the front. Then where, where do I slot it in? The machine that you just fixed. Yeah, where will you curl that metal, small See metal? That? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. oh. Perhaps a plier will yeah. yeah. Perhaps yeah. you can tape it, mommy. It's very oh, dangerous. I mean, yeah, electric tape. Oh, this one is also off again. Come on. I select, do you want to, I want to mute yourself before you uh, need to ask me anything again? If not, they'll be hearing you. Okay, so this two on both sides. And in between the slots, you'll find that there's a hole there. That is for you to tighten it with these screws. 
So in there, look for the flat head screws. The screws have flat head. That is for you to screw it in the middle to secure it. Could you wait for far behind? Uh, hi, Miss. Uh, hi, John. Uh, I don't know why, but this one this pop, yeah, oh it always fall off every time. Uh, because in the picture you can see, I need to fold it back. Yeah, just like uh, uh, twist it, right? You twist it around, and then you need to fold the wires from the motor back to loop it up. Oh, okay, okay. Which one is the right one? Yeah. I just Yes. Can I tell I'm done with? I'm done. I took the baby. Just be careful. Well, you wait, we're very far behind now. Could you wait? Yeah, don't worry. I also sent pictures with it. For we are super camp. duper far okay, behind. We'll look at it as well. Okay, like this. Then what do we do next? And then you attach a top piece and the side pieces to it. This piece over here. Okay, we attach this piece. And make sure that the hole is on the left so, side. Okay, then we attach those two pieces. What are those? The side pe long pieces, which is in your block. Where? Is yeah, it these long, two? Yes, the two long ones. Once you attach, you take a screw, the flat head screw, and then tighten the side in between the blocks. Wait, how do we attach them? You press it in. The I mean, how do we attach these in? The, you see the slots at the side, the L-shaped side? It should fit into your, your pieces just nicely. But how do we assemble this into this small body? Uh, well, it's on the other side. How do we do it though? Could you tell me? I'm trying to look at, uh, it's on the other side, yeah? Like this probably? Yeah, two sides, see? This side has only one, one line. This side has one and a two.
Got it now? Quite a tight fit. Yes, you had to fit it in. It's just nice. Oops, fell. If you put on a table this way and then press on the top, it's easier. That could be a good idea. Let's try it. Okay, then yeah. do we put the other one? Uh, for you, just screw it in first if you want to tighten it. Just tighten it and screw it in first. Okay, I get a flathead screw. Yeah. And tighten in between the two slots. Do it for both sides. Those who are ready on this one, pick up the, the small rectangle piece with the holes on top. That should be the top. You see this part? There's a block box here and some air vent here. The air vent should be on top. Air vent should be on top, yeah? So if I fix this in, air vent should be on top. And same as the front, use a flat head screw. Hold on, I said that I'm having a little bit of trouble with these screws. Yes. If yours is not magnetic, you can just get a magnetic piece of something, attach it to your screwdriver, it will make it magnetic. Huh? Got it. Step, step. Oh. Like, yeah. Twist it, twist it. Twist it, twist it, twist it. Twist it. And for the other side. Then after that, if you are done, you see. I mean, I realized that this robot's going to go in circles. You see the wheels and the axle. Attach one side first. Uh, there, there. We attach this thing. Oh, no, it's getting more complete. I'm attaching both and pulling one out because it's easier. So you can look at, take a look. There's a hole down here. Slot it in there. Oh my. Okay, just like this. Then what do we do next? At the back piece. The back of this. What do we do with these? Which one? Do we screw it in with the flathead yeah. screws? Or that one we attach the wheel, axle wheel. Which wheel are you on? Number two. two we attach the flathead mm -hmm. screws after that. And that one you can eat. Yeah. Yeah. So same thing. You tighten the screw with a screw. But Next how do we insert the axle in? in? Make sure the air vent is on top. Uh, what air vent? You have to take a look for that before you know what it is. Oh, okay. This I need to put it in. Okay. What I did was. What I did was, I actually attached them both on the table this way first. 
and then I press it down. Yeah, I'm trying to do that, yeah. but it's not working. If you put it in an angle, that it, the the degree, it, actually, it actually will attach on. Where? I need to pump to push it in. Oh, it needs to be quite hard. Okay, stop. Let me help. You should be able to attach both the wheels together, oh, then you just pull out one wheel. I'll attach a wheel first. Okay, so for the wheel, you just need to put them on top of each other this way. Use a pump and press it down. They will attach both at the same time. You just pull out one yeah. way. We need a hammer. <laughs> need a the hammer. hammer. Okay, you attach it and make sure that it's loose enough to move. <laughs> just see if it works. And there are two circle pieces. We want the one with the big circle in the middle. We take it out. Then we flip our machine upside down. And then we attach it down here. And when you slot it in and attach it, you same thing, use the screwdrivers, the uh, screws to actually secure it. Secure all the slots in. Fast. We are waiting and we actually send pictures to the phone step by step as well as I do it. Okay. Well, how? Wow. Can I, can I ask you a question? Yes. Will the robot spin around and move? Yeah, it will move. It's just will that it, will will it go in circles? Um, a bit of circle, a bit of straight and circle it's a again. Big thing. Yeah, because of the circle wheel. You can only like move forward if it spins. Yeah, that's right. When it hits something, then you'll be able to spin away. Not like go forward and crash. That's right. So that 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 mobile uh, wheels in front will help it to move away from your obstacle. But I it. It'll probably go in circles. Mm, pretty much if it keeps touching something. Okay. That then. Which one do we, is it this one? The one with the circle in the middle. Okay, then we attach it. Yep. And then secure it. And we screw it in yep, with yep. so many flat screws. Good for your fine motor skills. And you don't have to use glue. Let me see there's six, seven, eight screws all together. For right now. Later there'll be two more. Do we screw all of them? Yep. Oh my, that's quite a lot. Well, work, work better with it next time around, you'll be even faster.
When I first started, I was slow. And then after some time, I got faster and faster. Yeah, I'm almost catching. And those who are ready can attach the two side panels in. No, and then do the so let, don't worry, wait, I will wait, don't worry. Okay, those who are ready can attach the two side pieces and then screw the bottom as well. Uh, John, sorry, do you uh, screw down the one next to the um, wheels as well? Yes, as well. Uh I'm taking picture for every step right now. So, and then sending to the group. So if you miss anything, you can look at it too. And if you still don't understand, you can ask me. When I was trying to follow the instructions from the booklet, I got confused halfway through too. Bending. Amani, you are done with yours? Amani, you can actually attach these two together. I have a small problem here. Yes, what is it? These don't seem to fit in. What is that? This on the bottom. Uh, if you put it properly, they should fit in just nice. But these slots don't fit in. Uh, it fit in, in ours. It required for us a little bit of wiggling, but we and firm pressing, but we got it in. Maybe just a little wiggle and a firm press. Yeah, usually, usually when I actually screw them in, I'm actually pressing at the same time too. Only bend at the wood a little bit. Usually, I put it flat on a table and then when I screw it in so that it's flat to start with. And those who are ready can fix, can fix in the pen. Yeah. Does not work for me. Mommy, one of the cables uh, went off, popped off the red one. The red cable popped off. Oh, you have a soldering set, can actually solder in the wires if they want. We do not have yeah. a soldering set and I really need one. Where's that screwdriver? <laughs> if you really need a soldering set, you can ask your mom. I think I have an extra set in the house. But how do you use it? <laughs> I will have to teach you. Actually, we are going to do a soldering part. Okay. Yeah. Everybody has soldering set. Yeah, what month is it? Uh, we don't have so many to buy that oh. one. Yeah, I have to figure out how many of them doesn't have a soldering set. I do not. That's why it does not really work very well. Now for us, we just, for the, the part in front, actually, we roll it and then we bend it backwards and hook it up. 
Do you have a soldering set? Yes, I have more than one. Two? <laughs> I have one for myself. I have two extra sets at home, if not wrong. Okay. But the thing but is, we don't know how to use it. Amanda, this is for you. So from here, you string through the wire, through the hole there, to the other side. You make sure that the ears, and then you make sure the ears of the machine, of the gear is facing the wires over that side. And then the red should go to the one on the right. This way. I'll take a picture of it if it's unclear to you. The push is faster. So that should be the placement. The placement. Wait, what did you do? On oh, um, we I just slot in through the hole here, and then to the inside. And I'm getting ready two more wires because we're going to do this together. Wait, so the red goes on what side again? The red goes on? The red goes on, if it's facing the wire, the ears, both ears are facing the wire, it should be the one on the right. On my side, uh, if I'm back facing it. So if I'm looking at John, the ears. you're still doing the, the bottom. Okay, uh, if you want it clearer, I actually send a picture of it. So just now, when you are playing with the um, simulation part, you realize that you have to have two wires in the middle in the middle gear because it will be attached to the one at the back as well. This one, this one, this one. Why are you bending? So what are going to, we are doing right now in a simulation is we're doing reverse. We're doing everything backwards right now. So from the one with the, with the DC motor here, we are going to move it to the gear motor, the hobby motor middle. And then the red on this side, you're going to attach one more red as well. So you can remove this too. So I'm going to remove the red color now. And the other red. Miss John, could you wait? I will because I'm, I still have the black one on the, the other side for you, right? And I'm going to string through the same hole in the opposite direction. And I will take a picture of it. Now, what do we do? Where are you now? Uh, done with the, the flathead screws. Now we need to do that wire thing. And then you finish all the screws at the back and then you have two pillars here. What black? You've you mean the one on the these bottom. sides? You finish the bottom part, right? Wait, and what about the, those panels you were talking about? It was in the middle of your big piece just now, the big circular piece. There are two small pieces. Yeah, that two pieces. So attach it on and then tighten it as well. So for those, once you cross the wires in there, you can spin the two wires together instead of spinning into the uh, spinning on the ear. That's actually an easier way of doing it. So that because if not, it's quite it's quite challenging too. Okay, send a picture so you can spin it up and then you just roll it down again, make it shorter. Okay, I just want to make sure I put it on the right side because in the picture that you sent, the ears, they're facing away. So if the ears are facing away from me, the red is connected to the right. But if the ears are facing 
towards me, then it's on the left. That's right. Okay, thank you. The direction is important because if not, they spin or spin the other direction. And then you, instead of sucking it out, you'll be blowing it away. Okay. Okay, uh, okay, now what do we do next? Okay, you see this? You see the, the motor here and the fan, you attach them together. Okay. Attach them. Mm -hmm. You can see the picture Miss John sent to us. Here, here. See, this is more clearer. Yeah, you scroll down here. Yes, are you done? Like this? Yes, and then you put the wires from your wheels in front through the small hole to the middle. Okay. Then what do we do? And then you attach the red color wire to the ear on the right side if you are not facing the ear, you're behind the ear. And you have to attach a new wire as well at the same time. Well, you mean on this left side if I'm... If you're facing it, it's on your left. If I'm facing it... Then it's on your left. Wait, where could you point out? In the picture. Okay. What it's I, on I, my I, left side. What I did is I attached another wire, slot it into the same hole in the opposite direction. And then I spin the wires together. Wait a minute, how do you slot it in? That's an ear. Do we just push it in? Yeah, just push it. You just got to push it through, spin it through, and then into the other side. The wires. The wires, if it frays, you need to spin it. You in. didn't open it. Then you got to open it. And then you, what I mean is that when you tried to when you connected it to the motor you did not open it what do you might open it supposed to like aren't you supposed to like uh push uh -huh. this open uh, yeah the end of the red uh are we supposed to take it off the yeah i think like this can up look at this this is what me john said take it off yeah it looks like taking it off like this see huh? what is that like this? That's from the side like this. I already yeah. said it. That is the two wires. This is the uh, first. John. Yes. You know the one that you attach to the fan. Yes. You at the tip of it, you have a little. You have you know you have the red colored um. What is it called? Uh, tip. the rubber, the tip, right? Yes. So it that doesn't matter. Like it you have that. It it doesn't matter. Okay. The tip. You need to take it off. This is the last step, right? We actually need to take it off in order to string it through, to wire it through. And then we had attached the two of them together. See from up here, this connect to this, look at this, connect to this, and then you do this another piece over the there to the black side as well. Miss John, do we pull this end off of the red wire? Yes, it needs to come off. And then do we put it in the inside that yes. ear? You spin it so that it becomes one one whole string, and then you string it through. Uh, John, how do you how do you attach it to the fan? What do you use to attach to the fan? And the wires. Huh? So I use the two wires from oh, the wheels and attach it to the fan with two extra wires. Wait a minute. Okay, let me show you the whole picture here. Yeah. Uh oh, so we put it inside one of these ears. With which ear? Oh, I think it's this ear, Ronnie. Look, look, this one. Wait, we put it inside this hole and put it inside this ear. Like 
Got it? No. A new one. Get this very good at your first. And then you twist with this together. Come by. Get this a twist. Come on. Get it. Get it. If you get tweezers, you can Isn't use tweezers. It? You can use tweezers. Let me twist that in. Twist the new one in. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, but twist it first. Okay, so those who are ready, okay. ready? Then we twist those wires together. I'm not ready. Can you help me? If you are ready, with that step, you just put a, put a uh, put a hands up. Not our first time I doing it. Who's done? Yeah. Okay. Ah. No, it's off from the mm -hmm. You're Not supposed to do that. Okay, it is done. Go through. So if you are done with the wires attaching to it, just wire it out again. <sighs> Put it through the hole and bring it out from the other side. And if you wire it through the frame, the black one should go to the small hole on the right or your depending on which of the whole year. Stop. Can you get that? Let me. Okay, so the black wire should go out the side hole. Got that part? And if you are done, attach another black wire to the first black wire you have over there. So now your black wire is super long. Okay, now if you are done, you can put it aside. You take the other cover out. Detach the piece but bring it back because we are going to use it immediately. Send this, uh, you can file the side up if it's too sharp. I'm going to set, file the side up for this one. What do we do now? Well, which part, where are you? Oh, I have the, already connected the red wire. And now what about the black? Do we? Have you string it back out again? Not yet. I haven't even connected it to the ear. Oh, you have to finish connecting the ear first. Okay. Now I'm going to file the inside as well for a while. Okay, 
So this should be go like this. And I'm gonna look for, you see this hinge over here? This is the hinge that we need. The hinge to go on top here. And in the in there, you should find at least four short. Only now, could you help me? Four short screws me? that uses the nut. Um, no, not asking mom for help. So I just picked up four of it. Remember the long one, the long screws you used earlier? They are some they are the shorter version. We need four of those with the nut. And then I'm gonna attach it to the cover. This is actually the cover. Then we attach new black wire. Before I, before I attach a cover, you can attach the handle too. And this small little piece here, you see that two piece is for the handle. Handle is quite easy. You just slot it in the middle of two pieces together. Attach it to the cover over here. And then put a screw underneath to tighten it. Use a flat head screw to tighten it, to secure it underneath as usual. Run them back. What do I do with the um with the handle? Do I do I use the flat headed screw and attach it to the cover? Okay. John, can I ask you a question? Yes. Uh, after I string it back to the hole, the, yes. do I do anything with the wires yet? String it back to the hole. You string yes. the red, the black what? one across the side. The black one across the side. Yes. The small hole inside. Only the black one. Okay. And then you lengthen the wire by extending, uh, by attaching a black wire to it as well. Another one? A black wire to the shorter uh, black wire to make it longer. Oh.
those who are ready with the cover, attach the cover to the top piece. Oh, but I want that frost. We, to, we cannot make two. Oh! This is really a mm -hmm. Yes. I don't need drink milk first. Yeah. So let, if you need a break, you can take a break first and then rest. And then until we finish the pineapple stuff, then you come back to it again with me. Okay. And those who attached it, if you feel that no, like this cover feels like it's too big because it's tight, you can loosen up the screw by a tiny bit, it will fall into place. Okay. Uh, and then, what do we do after we attach it? Yeah. Now we're doing a cover. Oh, cover? Yes. Are you sure we don't do anything with the with the things first? Not yet. Because we need to. And those who are ready with that. You see the two pieces you have here? Yeah. You attach it underneath. What do you mean by attach it underneath? Uh, you are not there yet. You are still doing the cover. One step by step. Yeah. Yeah, they are doing the piece okay, underneath. Do we attach the these hinges? Yes. Yeah, we are going to use the hinges for that one. What which type of screw do we use? The one that uh, the shorter version of the first one you use, the one that you need the um, this one? the one that you need the nut. Yeah, I think that's the one, right? The one that, that needs the nut. Yes, it's shorter. Yeah, the shorter one is correct. Attach the other two pieces here. Same thing, you will need your nut and screw. You should have two, some more extras in there. Okay, see, so I actually have a piece underneath here now. Where is the... I'm going to do the other piece as well. Okay. Where are the square pieces? What do you do next? What's next? Square pieces goes underneath so that it prevents the cover from falling. Yes, that's right. So I just do Then we attach that on. What is that? The combination. Okay. Then those who are ready and add the switch. What do we do? You see these two slots down here? That that is actually for the switch. Can you uh sorry, can you take a picture of what you did just now with the um square pieces? I can't see uh, it's already it's in the picture. far away from the video. Uh, it's already in the picture. Oh, okay. Yeah, the entire process is there. I took them pictures by picture. I'm still trying to figure out why my screen is so much clearer, but not for your guys. Because my screen is very, very clear. 
Where's the screwdriver? So you attach the switch across to the other side. And those who are ready as well, the red wire from the motor, the fan motor that came out from the front, you attach that to the switch underneath the board. So it's here. Okay, I'm going to take a picture for this as well. You string it in and then you attach it. Wrap it around. Okay, now let me bring the camera here again to my computer. Okay, just now on the computer on here, we finished up. We have finished the back part here. This part is finished. We've attached the second model, which we finished already. We've attached this part of the model to the first switch. So now we are going to do the this line, from the motor all the way to the battery cover, and from the switch, the other part of the switch to the battery as well. Okay. So uh, the red wire. This one is your switch, right? Yes, that's the switch. Okay, your switch. Uh, let, let me have a look at. That's a slot. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Just slot it through. It's a bit difficult, but you just make it balanced and then slide it through together. I'll wait and see whoever's not ready, who's ready until up to here, then you let me know, okay? If not, you can ask. And those who are ready can also use the extra red wire now, the empty one, and then attach to the other side of the switch. Hey, uh, John, just yes. now, did you attach a double wire, a second wire to the red one? I think I missed um, that. The black one. Only to the black, right? Not yes. the red, right? Yeah, not the red. The red is a bit shorter, right? Yes, correct. The red is a lot shorter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Then the other red on from the switch is empty. It's not attached to anything. We're almost done. Okay, so those are ready. Battery cover, wire. You need to lengthen it yourself. So you need to, my parents need to help scissors to remove a layer of it. This is probably the most difficult so far. Most complex. Yeah. We gotta remove the wires yourself, extend the wire for the battery cover, the two wires, because the ending of the wire is quite short. We are done with that. The rest are quite easy. You attach the black to black and then red to red. Before you attach red wire, make sure you slot into the hole first, okay? See, from the switch part through the hole, then you attach. Okay, let me remove the sequence. Miss John? Yes? This thing doesn't open and close very well. And you need to just loosen the screws a little bit and then it will fall in. Should it fall in? Should it fall in? If you loosen the screws, then it will actually uh, fall into place nicely. It's just a bit too tight. So after I string it through the hole from the switch here to the side, I'm just attaching red to red and then black to black. From the, with the battery case. I think this is okay. Okay. Yep. You can decide. You can attach. You can you can fix it later if you want to. If you think it's all right, then it's all right. Yeah. Black to black here. The black to black, if you think that no is long enough to attach to your battery cover, then yes, you can just do that. And I just forgot to string in my wires to the back from my battery cover. So I have to take it out and then redo this again. So take a picture, remember to so string the battery cover through the back of the hole there. Can I ask you a question? Yes. What p what which type of screw did you use for screwing in this? The one that you used for the uh hinge. The, which one? The one you use for your hinges. The 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 short version of that thing? Yes, the one that you need the uh, you need the um nut with. When 
you finish up, just attach black to black, red to red. Without the extending black, it can work too, but it will be very, very tight for some of you. So we don't need the extension. You can don't use the extension. If you need the extension, use the extension. door doesn't fall into place. That's why I say I have to loosen it a little bit. I already loosened it a little bit. For all the four screws. Okay. okay. The wire is done for right now. If it's too long for the black, you can just roll it around the side in the pillar. <laughs> That'll be fine too. And then at the back of it, just put a tape. You can put one or two and then tape it down. To the back. Yes, at the bottom there. Okay, got it. I'll take a full picture from the top. Oh, you can see the entire thing. Okay, Ethan side, if you are done, you flip the cover over the top. Get ready for four flat head screws. Oops. Floor four of them. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to attach, you see the four holes on top, right? We're going to attach it to the motor underneath. I still need it. Okay. For me, usually if I attach, I do diagonal. Once it's diagonal is done, the rest are actually. Okay, what's next? Um, what's next? What is that? You attach the, the switch. Okay. After that is a switch. Slowly.
You need to introduce metal things in your office. Do I do that? And once you attach the motor on, you are about done. You just need to attach the cover on properly and then stabilize them. Miss John? Yes. When I insert this black piece, do I need to switch? The black piece is on the wrong side, Solette. Your switch should be on the top of the cover, not the bottom. But do I need to squash them in? Yes, you do need to squash them in a little bit. Yeah, from the top. And then press in all the way. Yes, so that they are, the two legs will be outside. This is okay. So I'm just going to secure all of them now. If you have batteries, you can test it out too. I'm going to get my batteries. This might be other battery. <laughs> On the floor. Okay. If you have batteries, you can fix it and test it too. Okay. I added my batteries. I turn it on. The bottom, I can see it spin. And if you put your hand on top of it, you shouldn't feel the fan coming out from there. If you open the cover, you should feel the fan coming out from inside. Okay, let me get a tissue paper to show you this. So if I put my tissue paper here and I turn it on, it will fly out. See that? So the wind is coming out from inside. But if I cut into smaller pieces on the table, and then I put my machine on top, whoops, it's flying now. It should collect them. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. So if I open it inside, you can see the white, the, my wipe is inside. So usually the fan blade that we use gives you fan. But now what we did, we reverse the fan around. So the fan will suck in the air from here and then the air will come out from here. So when it's sucking out the air, it sucks out the things as well. And if I turn it on and it touches things, it, you see, it touches me, then it will move. Okay. And when you're, you're all done later, this one you can do later, you can attach the stickers or you can I don't feel it off. Or you can make your own and then you can paste it on top. But when you paste, you try to, you don't paste the side at the back here, okay? Because you want the air to actually come out from it. You want it to ventilate the back part, sorry. The back part here for the ventilation, don't cover it. So you only cover until 
this last part. Okay, when you actually paste, paste it on. The glue is what you can use to paste it on, or you can use glue gun. Okay, so we need water, we have the paste, the powder, the egg, and the shortening of butter. And then you can have a bit of sugar or salt if you have them around. They're optional, you can add them or not. The sugar will make the paste taste sweeter. Mom, do we have any shortener? Butter. Okay, butter, yeah, butter or shortening. Butter, the Look at the Yes, mommy. Yes, tea tart flour. Do we use this as the flour? Yes. Yeah, that is, is right down there, right? Everything. Yes. So much. Yeah, about ninety. So put everything inside the bowl. Ninety grams. Is it everything? Ninety grams. Nine zero. How much is ninety grams? Is, is 90 grams the bag? No, the, the baguette has extra. I meant the net weight. So you just put, as, uh, just leave some behind. Is it everything or just some? No, not everything. Uh, Maybe what do we do? What uh, do we do? 90 grams of flour. Uh, is that everything in the bag? How, how can I tell 90 grams of flour? Stella, auntie, you bake so often. Oh my God. <laughs> Please, you have so you have wing scale. Is ninety grams this <laughs> wing scale? We have wing scale for that. Question: You know that already. Is this ninety grams? That's no. more than ninety grams. You do you have a weighing scale at home? No. No. Then you take out maybe about one and a half yes. teaspoon of it. No. So you take about one and a half teaspoon. You can take about one and a half teaspoon of it. Only one and a half teaspoon? Take out, take out means that, you know, you put everything in and you take out one and a half teaspoon of it to save it. Got it? No. I'm adjusting my weighing scale. Okay. My, my measurement is not working, my scale. So how much do I need to put, like half of it? Uh, no, you put in, uh, you just take out about one and a half teaspoon. Teaspoon? Uh, of no, this? Like, tablespoon, tablespoon. About one and a half tablespoon to take out. And then use okay. the rest. And then you put in butter of about 40 grams. 40 grams, there you go. 40, so share the butter. Here's your butter. Tear it first. Or... 40 grams? No, you can't do that. You gotta get another bowl. Get another bowl. Get a bowl. How much butter? 40, 40. Oh, zero. Only have three scoops of this. Yes, And then three, hey, how little? You put in your salt. You want just put in a bit of salt, a bit of sugar. Just for the GF tart flour, it's only one and a half tablespoon, right? I know you take out only one and a half tablespoon. You use the rest. Also oh, use the rest. You use the rest. So this is we put back. Yeah. Can you give me another bowl? Yeah. So sugar for the flour is optional. Is this okay. whether you make it sweeter or not? 
and then you mix them up. Okay, come on, you don't have to. Uh, now what do I do with the butter? Uh, you put it inside the flour. Okay. And then you mix them up. If you want to put salt and sugar, you can add in. If you don't want to, it's optional. You don't have to use it. I'll just put a little bit of sugar here. Uh, John, if we do not use the butter and we use the coconut oil, how much do we use approximately? Uh, same. Okay. I need to look at the recipe. And I don't know where it is now. I don't know where it is, Dorsa. How about um, the rice cooker there? The pasta of coconut oil. One fifth cup of coconut oil. One fifth. Can you guess? And one fifth approximately. This is one third. No, this is more. One third is more than one fifth. Okay. Yes. And if you are ready to cook, you can turn the top up to one hundred fifty-five. Yeah, oven. To the. Are you sure? Okay. No need like your pineapple but the pineapple is quite salty already like uh, quite sweet already. Okay. No need, uh. <laughs> and then can you take like another bowl? You can actually taste the paste and see whether it's too sweet or not sweet enough for you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, okay. No no no. Um the egg needs to be open separately. If you are ready, you can turn on your oven to 165. 165 oven. Yeah, so you can preheat it. Oven has to be 165. Can I mix this? No, no. Here's this one. It's so pretty. And then you put, yeah, once it's crumbly and you mix them well already, then you can add the egg and do the same thing. It should still be crumbly. For the egg, only half of it, right, John? Sorry? For the egg, only half the egg, right? It's just half. Okay. I can add the egg. One. Sure. Uh, do we only need one egg? You need only half the egg. Yes, you crack. Yeah, you crack the egg. And then another small, small bowl. Yeah, I'm going to remove part of the egg white. Yeah, it will for later. Yeah. I'll get ready for some eggs. Uh oh, mommy. Just mix it up. Just mix it up. Make sure it's going to be that one. Are you using egg yolk? Uh, yes, you are. But uh, because I'm just I'm saving half the egg yolk for later. That's why. Are we using the egg whites? <laughs> So we doing half the egg yolk? Half, half of all. Huh? Half of the egg itself. So do you beat it first, then measure half or uh, what? What I'm doing is because I don't want to use two eggs, so I'm using half and then I put it in to mix it up. Because I need the egg yolk for the um for, for like glazing later. Huh? So okay, hang on, hang on. Just in general, just what? One egg, half then egg. Yes. That's it. That's yes, right. An egg, but uh mix. Sorry, I can't hear you. You went uh, off. You just you just mix half an egg. 
So yeah, do you so you just do you scramble the egg first and then just yes, take half of it? You scramble it and, and take oh. half. Yeah. For me, I'm just saving because I want to use it for glazing later. Yeah. Careful, don't spare. Because I'm trying to glaze it with the egg yolk later. Yeah, it's enough. That's enough next time. Uh, you can take, take some eggs, remember? Uh, there's so many things with some eggs in it, including your carrot cake and stuff. Yeah. Egg white kitchen. No, we can throw that one away. Okay, take this as well then. Yeah. And then clear it. And just no, 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 no. This water is crumbly like that. Probably need to have this. Now we want to keep it crumbly. This has to be crumbly a little bit. Now it's too watery. Yeah, with egg. Maybe egg. You put this down. Yes, I'm use my hand now. If this is like a little bit like this, do I need to add more flour or not? Or is this okay? The texture. Okay. For mine right now, it's actually I can mold it in my hand. Oh. Can I just add like regular flour? Uh yeah, you can. Okay. I think we add too much flour, like a little bit too much. It's too okay, much. we can add flour. Yeah, I think it's spill. It's like three fourths of it. It's so if you are able to get a dough like this, dough like that, that is. You don't need really water like anymore. That. Okay. Like I'll like that. Yeah, it's like I'll take to you then we put on again. Don't worry, then. No, okay, do. Tiny bit of water. That's still. Uh, Don't worry, you just put your hand around it and see what it's got. Uh -huh. huh? <laughs> this? this one, the fourth one. Oh. Oh. Yeah, don't do it the wrong way. Oh. It's just it has to be doughy like that. Is our doughy? <laughs> it's a bit sticky doughy. Uh, sticky, then you gotta put some, you gotta put some uh, more flour. Sure. Put in the bowl. Yeah, you can take one, one serving for yourself. I need some too. It's the correct order. Yes, it has the wrong, it's the correct order. They are the same order. Oh, 
Okay, so is your goal like ready? You can actually put them into. Hello? Uh, sorry, girl, what did you just do? Sorry. Uh, I put an egg in and then I make sure that it, it's like a, I put a bit of water just now, a tiny bit. So oh, that becomes a dough white. You don't open the it. white thing. What? what oh, eh? Tart flour. Golden flour. Eh? How come there's more flour? Oh, how much flour? You didn't put I all. I put the wrong. I put the wrong flour. What flour do you put in? I put like this flour. No, um, never mind. Never mind. It's okay. Just yeah, it's okay. No need. <laughs> I wish flower is you. This is actually quite easy after you finish that. You just roll into balls and then roll your pineapple paste into balls. That's about it. And then put them together. I think it's supposed to be okay now. Wait. No, it's okay. Your hand need to be dry first, Stella. Okay. You no, you will add more moisture. The pineapple tart part. It depends on how big you want your ball to be. Okay. Okay, let's make it the uh, the ball like that. It's too funny at all. It's really not funny. You can test out yes, one first and see whether it's make not a small one. Small, small like this. Make it too small. Up to you. How big can you go for both sides? Oh, I think I was just a small one. Try to put about the same size for at least the same time. <laughs> One. No. Um. Come on. 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 Come I think this is much smaller than that. Hope you leave it in the road, please. Thank you. Oh, good. It's good to call him and he's shouting at the door. <laughs> Out. Sorry, it's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Sorry, you're too cool. Get my pineapple paste out. Why don't we still see the sign? This this page shouldn't be too sweet. I kind of mix them. Oh. 
โอเคมาลูกโอเคลูกโอเค I'm going to match the pace Smaller, small, small ball. Okay, this is the regular size that I want to make. That's a tiny project. <laughs> It's doughy. Doughy? Yes, doughy. Yes. And this one is dirty. When I feel it. No, dirty to my view. Okay, I have about nine balls. <laughs> it's a white thing. I'm going to wash my hands. It's a white thing, mommy. It's a white thing. the ball and we'll give it a low roll. to be dry up otherwise you'll be like mommy You are done. The rest are quite easy. You can make patterns on the top.
And then he dropped my ball in the floor. Yep. Bing. That's all dropped. Now holding it upside down. I know. Because I don't need, I only need to make a pattern. I don't have to cut it at all. There you go. So once you put your patterns on, you can use egg yolk and dab the top. Now, now it's Joy's turn. <laughs> Time to do what? <laughs> <laughs> now you continue. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's doing it. She's doing most of it. She's okay. very good. <laughs> I was like, where is she? I've done this before. Ah, uh, okay. So she's just, I'm just removing my the mat. I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, this is actually the easiest, the second easiest for today. Today, the most difficult is the machine. Yes, I think a few of my brain cells died. <laughs> if you can do that, most of the other machines, you should be okay. It's the most difficult so far. Okay, then when you're done, you just pop it in for about 20 to 22 minutes. 